budgeting and apply them to the investment management industry because uh, value at risk we have seen as a part of uh, computing uh, the market var or value at risk compared to credit risk credit var operations var so we talked about the various uh, uh, value at risk uh, fundamentals so how do i use it when it comes to the investment management space and it also uh, it also uh, goes to the extent of uh, looking at how it differs with respect to various features like horizon turnover the time periods and uh, per an investment decisions uh, in hedge funds what is the application level of uh, var and various uh, definitions associated uh, with the risk and finally uh, looking at uh, how var can be helpful in uh, uh, let's say uh, planning investment planning or how is it helpful in terms of compliance checking monitoring all these kind of activities so we just uh, get started with that uh, process so initially the first thing i would like to discuss about is the concept of risk budgeting wherein the intention is fairly simple you identify the various risk exposures and come out with uh, a quantitative measurement for each one of them so at an organization level identify the risk capital that is required based on the risk adjusted return and allocate this risk level risk capital which has been designed at uh, a firm level to each uh, individual portfolios or individual positions you allocate the organization level risk budget and after that uh, comes the risk monitoring or the tracking part now here comes the difference depending on whether the entity is a buy side entity or a sell side entity the risk management framework differs see when we talk about the sell side who are generally the participants who are selling instruments right uh, who are not uh, investing but who are trying to sell instruments like banks they try to sell their products they all come under this sell side of the investment management uh, industry and they have been using a lot of techniques earlier from lot from long time the banks are using value at risk as a process but when it comes to the buy side people who buy those instruments so they are the investors and investors very recently they started uh, using this value at risk mechanisms uh, to protect themselves but generally they get into the mechanisms like diversification portfolio construction these are some of the things which generally the buy side of the market gets into so they have been using the portfolio as a mechanism to diversify rather than understanding the var and uh, setting limits based on the vars and those side so uh, it used to be majorly uh, from a sell side itself but what we could uh, typically uh, see uh, otherwise as differences is from a bank standpoint or from a seller standpoint they want very quick they want to sell out their instruments as quickly as possible so for them the var has to be more and more measured on a short term basis whereas uh, from the buyer's perspective once they invest once they purchase a, once they make an investment in a security or an asset they would like to hold it for a slightly considerably longer period of time so that is where they require the estimate of risk management 
more on a long term basis rather than on a short term basis right uh, and uh, here the banks the sell off the turnover it has to be very fast whereas uh, the, the the from a buyer's perspective it is much lesser banks use heavy leverage so the risk associated with liquidities and leverages is quite higher from a sell side perspective whereas uh, the that kind of a risk the, as an individual investor i may not uh, uh, take that much of a huge leverage to hold my positions so that where uh, the risk is uh, slightly the leverage is slightly lower from a buyer standpoint so the normal risk measures that the sell side goes with is the value at risk the stress testing which have been the traditional risk management approaches but when it comes to the individual investors value at risk is slightly considered nowadays but majority is okay how well i do the asset allocation so that my overall uh, uh, my overall uh, standard deviation comes down or there is a lookout for uh, ma- making sure that the tracking error does not cross a particular limit and en- ensuring consistency in the investments these are some of the things which a mutual fund manager or uh, uh, the or or the investor or someone who is acting on behalf of the investor they would be looking out for these mechanisms uh, as risk measures so that is where we have to differentiate uh, between the usage of uh, the risk measures also like uh, value at risk or portfolio from whose dimension we are trying to evaluate this then the other dimension which i would like to look out for is the large investors right naturally as i said in the earlier uh, slide any investor his time horizon is uh, longer the amount of leverage he would be using is much lesser so from his dimension a portfolio management is a very appropriate aspect wherein he would look out for diversification and he would also look out for optimal asset allocation whether it is a small player or a large investor but few things is from a long large investors perspective the long term strategic asset allocation is very much 